popular spots to come on the Las Vegas Strip is this really cool food court called Italy. It's at the Park MGM Hotel and Casino. You know what? I think today we're gonna go check this place out finally. Italy, Las Vegas. I've been wanting to go here for a long time. Now, this is a food court like no other. It's supposed to be more of an authentic Italian style. And yeah, today I think we're gonna do a little challenge. I wanna know what a hundred bucks gets us at the Italy food court. We're not talking it up too much. Let's go check this place out. I'm gonna say food court is the wrong terminology for this place because it isn't a food court. Well, it is a food court, but it's elevated. First off, the space is beautiful. They really worked hard to make sure that Italy resembles a series of small Italian bistros for the guests. You can enter from Las Vegas Boulevard in a couple locations or directly through the Park MGM Casino. I like the fact that you can see the freshly baked bread being made right when you walk in. And you can hang out in the lounge and sample different wines during happy hour. They also have a decent selection of wine bottles to choose from. And at about $10 per glass of wine, you can really enjoy yourself. But what about the food? Well, they can do everything from freshly made charcuterie boards to tomahawk ribeye steaks. And they'll grill it up right in front of you. But I think the most common item everybody's going to want to try is a slice of pizza, which I found right here in the middle of the food court. You got mushroom pizza, which my guy said was his favorite. Ham and artichoke, salami cheese with hot honey drizzle, margarita. And for our first item in this challenge, we're going to try a slice of salami with hot honey. And this is going to set us back $14 for the slice. And this is what it looked like, so I would say that this is worth it. Pizza is an obvious choice, but they have a little bit of everything. Cannolis? Yes. Fresh sorbet? Why not? Italian pastries like tiramisu? Of course. For breakfast, they have fresh fruit crepes, and for coffee, they have lavazzo espresso. With lavazzo, if you know, you know. Walking around this place, you notice the theme of wine bars and meats and cheeses, as well as fresh pastas and seafood, which I want to know all about. So next, we're going to grab a bowl of pasta from this little stall, then head over to try the calamari from the seafood counter. The pasta is going to set us back 20 bucks, and the calamari was 30. The pasta is traditional, no milk, just that pasta and that creamy cheese like they do in Italy. And it was a decent bowl of pasta, well worth the $20. The calamari was on point. That squid tasted fresh, light, somewhat spicy batter, and for 30 bucks it better be. But we're not done yet. We have to try the gelato for a dessert. Super creamy and decadent. The cookies and cream got me right. But the real gem in the area was the sandwiches. And they have a lot of gourmet sandwiches. Salami and provolone, prosciutto, the gabagool. Oh, this from a slice of gabagool. Now I went with the ham and cheese because it was calling my name. And just look at it. Isn't this just an amazing looking sandwich? This one's going to run you another $14, bringing our Italy food court experience to $91. Now that's not quite what we were shooting for, so it looks like we're going to have to have some dinner. Now the only problem I noticed with Italy is that there's not a proper sit down restaurant except there actually is la pizza and la pasta is the only reservation based restaurant in the area so i went to check it out they have an old world margarita pizza that's true to napoli italy that dates back to the 1500s they also had a tomato based pasta with ricotta and basil that was absolutely fire pro tip save some of that bread from the beginning of the meal so that you can sop up that amazing pasta sauce on your plate at the end this meal set us back about $70, bringing our grand total to $161. I may have bought a $30 bottle of wine and a jar of tomato sauce also, making it closer to two. So unfortunately, this was a fail for our $100 challenge, but the food was flame and I would highly recommend if you're in the area. So that's it, Italy, Las Vegas, on the Las Vegas Strip in the Park MGM. Let me know what you thought about the video and if you visit this place in the comment section below and let me know what else you're interested in us covering on this channel. Everything Vegas. Until the next video, take care and we'll catch you in the next one.